What do you think about Chief Onwa Station? Ha! Chief Onwa Station? Am I not, you know? I don't like thinking of things that are very irrelevant. Oh, DK! I don't think that invitation is irrelevant. Why? See, it is an honor for us. That is why Chief Onwa invited us to his house. So, me, eh, I want us to see it as honor. Wait, wait. There's a way you guys talk about this Chifonwa of a thing that I don't understand. Who exactly is he? Ah, Chifonwa. He is the Okaubulu's one of hey! the Ugo. In fact, that hey! Ugo the rich man I've seen, he's the richest. Mm -hmm. Yes. But is he willing to spend money? Because back there in Europe, you have a lot of rich guys there who are not willing to spend money. So is this your Chifonwa willing to spend money? No. You don't boy! So you have not seen anything though? Chief Oma is different from all these men in Europe that you have seen. Hmm? See, he's ready to spend his money. Do you know his name? Akabulu. Akabulu! One! One! Akabulu! One! See, it's he's not, he's not two in this time. It's only one. That's one. See? Anywhere his mouth is, that is where his money is. So what are we waiting for? Let's honor his invitation. Shut up, Martin. Ah, the decision is not yours now. Nah. After all, Jivawa did not invite you. Oh, hey, ah. Dike, don't be greedy. See, you know this fine boy here with beer, beer? Um, <laughs> Martin, he just came back from Europe. He came back with nothing. So, let us take him around and show him things. So, when is he taking us to Europe? <laughs> We've not even started anything, we've started being greedy. We've not started anything, we started being greedy. If you come to Europe, we'll just shoot you off. Don't bring greed into business, man. Nice, nice one. My friend, take the soup and... So when are we going? When are we going to... Uh, let's go this night, idiot. When are we going? Thank you, Chief. I invited you here because I need your help. Yes. I'm going to have a very serious party here in about a month's time. And I want the three of you to handle all the preliminary arrangements. Um, Chief. May we know exactly what you want us to do? Mm, it's essentially a housewarming party, but it's going to be a full house. And I want perfect logistics to be in place. You see, stupid logistics make for stupid parties, and that is not what I want for my party. Uh, Chief, uh we want to know exactly what you have in mind. I mean, the kind of party you want in terms of music. Is it, do you want a, a live band or is it the same old thing? 
all kinds of music will be on display. Yes, uh, live band, local musicians and dancers and all that. Serious vibration from big speakers and what have you. Yes, and uh, you see, for a party to actually qualify as a housewarming party, you know, the music must be raw and wild. <laughs> and that is what I intend to have here. Yes, Chief. Yes. How many people are we expecting? Uh, we expect a lot of people. I cannot put the number down, but uh, I expect all my close friends to be around here. And you know my close friends are so many. <laughs> and of course, when you are holding such a party, be mindful that all the hungry from the adjacent streets will come around to come and eat and drink. And you cannot stop them from doing so, can you? No. They are all welcome. It's going to be a real big party. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. <sighs> well, Chief, from what you've said so far, we are going to carry out the necessary inquiries and get back to you maybe in five days from today. Five days will be too much. You understand? Let me tell you, you know why people take all their time to do those, to inquire here and there, to carry out inquiries everywhere because they have no money. <laughs> They have no money. You see, when you have money, like I have money, you don't spend your time making inquiries. You spend your money arranging for what you want to do. And uh, you gentlemen, uh, keep on drinking. I'll get some more drinks if you want. But I know whatever you ask me to give to you, I'll give you about three times that for you to know that I have money and I can spend it. We don't need too much inquiries. Did you hear me? Oh, so sit back. Uh, sit back. Sit back. Uh, let me get my boys to, to treat you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 DK, where are you coming from? Now, the chief always planning the party and invited myself and my friends to assist him in the preliminary plan. What kind of party? Uh, he called it housewarming and the uh, Planning to invite live band and uh, all other kind of music. <laughs> DK, what you now do is to go and plan some useless party for some useless people with personable credentials. DK, you are a disgrace. Daddy, you are hitting me for nothing. The man only asked for my help. The fact that his uh, uh, credentials is questionable is something I know nothing about. DK, I'm surprised you are sounding like this. Honestly. A man is planning a party to warm his house and my own son is making himself available to plan such an absurdity. Dad, Daddy, why are you making ah. something out of this? He only asked for my help. Use your good sense of reasoning to decline from rendering such help. Look, let him get married and let his children warm his house. Daddy, he has a wife. That the wife has not yet conceived to give me a child. It's never his fault. He should concern himself about that. That should be his concern and not mine. Look, he should concern himself about getting his children to warm his house. DK, listen and listen very well. If I see your leg in that house, I will tell you that I'm a retired police officer. Try me. Daddy. Such an old man without a child has not even bothered. Daddy. Mommy. So as I was saying, brother, housewoman party is very strange to us here in the East. Though it's very common there in the West, but here in the East, it's unknown to us. Chukode, I have not invited you to my house to come and talk trash. No. I have only invited you to brief you as a brother concerning the party that I'm planning. And if you are not interested in my party, and the door is open, go to your house. My 
minding what anybody else thinks. Brother, I've told you time and time again. Get married to another woman. The woman in your house is not valid. She has remained barren since you married her 20 years ago. Your children should warm the house. A useless party cannot warm your house. Chokode. Chokode. If my wife is barren, it's my business. It's my concern. It's none of your business. You understand? It's not your business at all. And let this be the last time you ever raise this topic in my house. Or before me. Leave my wife alone. You are my stepbrother. Our father married four wives. And now, if your wife is barren, and we all know she is, you get married to another woman. It is unheard of that you are planning a housewarming party. Your own children can warm the house. Listen. I am very, very happy with my wife. If she has not produced a child, it is none of your business. I have deduced that if you are not interested in my party, then you must be one of the people against my party. And therefore, the door is open. Get out of my house and go to your house. Of course. Of course, brother, I will go to my house and stay. Yes, proceed with the chariot. I will never get involved in such absurdity. I am leaving. To hell with you! To hell, idiot! I don't give a damn. One million and one chukudis cannot stop me. Nonsense. <laughs> Woman. Woman, what is the matter? What is the matter? How can you lock yourself up in the room and start crying like a schoolgirl? Heaven knows the fault is not from me. And you know the fault is not from me. You <laughs> making reference to what you could have said? He said I'm barren. And you know I'm not barren. I expected you to call him John. Shut up, woman! I made it clear to Chukudi that the fault is not yours. I don't want Chukudi to be here again. I don't want Chukudi to be here again, Chief. Are you asking me to bar my own brother from entering my house? Exactly. He should be back from coming here. Now listen, woman. This is my house. And I built this house before I ever got married to you. And now you cannot tell me who enters this house and who does not. Are you hearing that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that what you would say? Yes. Listen, Chukudi is my brother. And he will always remain my brother. Do you understand me? He may choose to hate me, or I choose to hate him. But it doesn't take anything away from the fact that he is my brother. And I cannot bar him from entering my house. If he chooses to bar himself, so be it. <laughs> Will you stop this nonsense? Stop the drama! Dicky. 
You can't just wake up one morning and say you're withdrawing from this task. You might have not have a good reason. Bros, I don't have any reasons. I was the one that accepted to do it. Now, I don't want to do it anymore. After all, there's not, nothing in this planning that two of you cannot handle. DK, are you aware that Chief Onwa is going to pay us real amount of money for this assignment? You think I accepted it because of the money he would pay? Bros, I did it because he's a well-known chief. I mean, this is my decision. Nothing will change it. Ah, Chief Onwa promised to pay us three times. I mean, three times whatever bill we give him. Well, it's your decision. I'm not going to say anything for Oh, you. Martins! Don't say that! Do you know the case? Lose a real amount of yes. money. Yes! Yes! Before me and you now, he said he's not interested in the money. What do you want me to say? Hi! Because you guys are taking this thing too personal. I mean, it's just too personal. <laughs> Bro, this is enough to take care of my own. I never knew the gay is such a fool. Listen, the problem with you is that you don't know how to respect people's opinion. The guy said he's not interested. How many I call her? What's it? If you like, you can equally pull out. I am James, I am ready for the tax. And I will see it to eight logical conclusions. I can plan it long. arrangement that we have made so far is the best arrangement that could come from anybody. Even the registered event planner would not or could not near what we have in place. <laughs> beautiful. 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 I also want to know whether you have found out why Dicky, the son of Mba, has, has refused to work for me. Oh, no, Chief. We did not bother ourselves to find out his reasons, but I am sure they are stupid reasons and I, James, would not want to involve myself in stupid things. Okay, okay. So, how about the rainmakers? Are they ready for me? <laughs> Chief, all necessary arrangements have been put in place. You can be rest assured that the housewoman party is going to be a bomb on a hot afternoon. <laughs> the music, first class. The rainmakers gave me their word and I believe them. There shall be no rain. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you very much. When the dust settles down after this event, I have good things. I have good things for you all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Good things is vague. And that could mean anything. What I want is... Ego. Cash. Cash. Ego. You can give me cash and give Martin say something good. <laughs> oh, yes.
Shirt. That's why you are blocking my way. This is not a mesh shirt. It's high quality. It's 100 percent cotton. How are you even sure that it was my driver that splashed you water? Look, I have been following you from Co Camp to Ogi Road, and you ran away. You came to Independence Lab to, to say it's not your driver. Look at, look at, look at, look at you. Hold on, on it's okay. How much is it? Okay, even if now I come and make you pay. An. Okay, how can you be asking me how much? Okay, don't worry. This shirt I just ordered two, two, two days don't ago. Don't worry, it's okay, it's okay, okay. God has saved you today. This is how the rich man oppresses the poor in this country. Thank you. I like the aggressiveness in you. In fact, you are the type of people I like. I am going for a housewarming party somewhere there. Can you join me? I'll consider it, sir. Easy. 
Buy a shirt to change this. That party, I must get to that party. It is not the only big man that will enjoy. No, no, wow. Five. See, I'm very generous. This is two out of five. Take it. This is your own share. Okay. And you're going to be alone with a share.
Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Where is it? You're doing something. Where is it? In Malaysia. Where is it? What do you mean by where is it? Did anybody tell you we are from royal families? Look, when I say where is it? Just respond by saying Adi a Funamba. Eh? Whether you are from a loyal or royal family is immaterial. That is the latest greeting in town. And you know, for those of us who grew up with a childhood dream of swimming in millions, we must learn to greet and talk like millionaires. Where is Silas? Are you trying to say that this is the latest greeting for the millionaires? Bam! Where is it? Yeah, but I'm going more. No, you don't. Your malaria is back. I know. Look, no. you people know me. This is what money. Where is it? Silas. <laughs> Tony. Where is it? Nana. <laughs> Where is it? Nana. Where is it? Okay, Whenever I say where is it, just say Adeye Efunamba. Where is it? Hey! In a so puto 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 in a so so. Nana in a so so. You are the man. Now you are now Gary. This. Nana. This is money. Sit down. Wait. No hurry life. No hurry life. I have gone to parties. I have seen parties. But the one I went to today is the biggest party in the whole world. Huh? Why do you say so? I was sitting on my own, alone in the party. I didn't even go near the dance floor. But breeze started blowing money and, and breaking it in front of me. Wait, wait. I was speaking Sir, Excuse you me. Need, you need Are you money. trying to say, excuse me, let me see whether this is real money. This is real money. Never is bigger. Not with Wego. So, are you trying to say that people were just throwing money into the air? Just like that? Don't call them people. They are millionaires. Don't call them people. They are not people. <laughs> Where is the mm. Adefu number? Look! With that kind of party I have attended today, that party is a school to tell me money is school. Salas, hmm? do you know what I think? I don't know what you think. I think you are going too far. I think if you think that I'm going too far, I will go extremely far from what I saw today. Nah, this is money. money. Nana, are you telling me you believe this money came from a party? Is that what you believe? Where is that? Then, in fact, you believe in my government. I will spray you money. Hey! I will spray you money. Just, just Pick it on the phone like I speak my own. I will. Where is that if number? Don't beg me for coke. Of all this to granity. Yes. This is just vanity. I don't, don't want I like this vanity. Let him wait until God comes and dashes him. <laughs> Where is that if number? <laughs> you are drinking, Gary. <laughs> Your mates are eating salad and chicken. You want to drink? Ah. Oh. 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 Thank you, my boys. That was a very successful party. You can say that again. It was a grand party. You see what I'm talking about, my boys? Yes, you did your very best. Thank and you, I thank you. I'm very appreciative of all your efforts. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Chief, that party was something else. It was extremely unique. Thank you. Have we counted the money? Um. We've counted the Naira's, but we've not been able to count the other currencies that we gathered. Okay. Can I see the money? Uh, Chief, it was an act of God that DK pulled out from this assignment. If DK was part of us, to God Makachu, he would have stolen all this money. All this money. That's what I'm seeing now. So, Chief, <laughs> this is the whole money. Chief, yeah. hey. Have you any idea how much we have there? We've not counted it, but I can assure you that every cover you spent, every pin you you you, you, you blew in that party oh, was yes. recovered back. Oh yes. Everything. Yes. Listen, Martins, I did not blow money at the party. Uh -huh. Ego, you, you're right, Omar. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> You're very correct. Yes. I had a housewarming party. The most important thing is that we had a very good party. You see, my friends have been calling me, telling me how grand the party was. Yes, that was the most important thing. You understand what I'm saying? The party was not to make money. It was to warm a house. Uh, I have come to a decision. Listen, gentlemen. I've come to a decision. And that is the fact that this party was staged to warm my house. Not a money-making venture. So both of you, take this money and go and share between yourselves. Uh, 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 are you saying we can go with the money? Okay, Obolusa does not need this kind of money. Hmm? I want you to use this money judiciously for yourselves. It is your benefit for your efforts and time we say. Says who? Well, you don't have to use it. Who are you, sir? That does not matter, but two of you. Where's Adiyef Namba? He's not serious. No, no, he's not. Where's Adiyef Namba? Come on with Namba. Who be fool? Where's he? Adiyef Namba. Where's he? Where's he? Adiyef Namba. Come on, Adiyef Namba. That was the guy that was helping himself with loose change. Okay, he okay, has okay. lent that stupid gritty from that food. Yeah! Hello? You, you recognize me now? I gave you food. Yes, yes. How are you? Fine, thank you. Have you eaten? Yeah. Oh. Hello. I can see you getting. What are you taking? <laughs> uh, big style. Hello? I'm chicken. Hello? Please bring, bring four bottles of beer to me. Foul, foul, foul. Drink for them. <laughs> Give them anything. Drink whatever you want. Bro, thank you. No problem. Yeah, correct, man. Too much money. Where's the number? Thank you. Sorry, is that the woman you adopted? 
No, not exactly. But it's a greeting reserved for millionaires and aspiring millionaires like me. When I say where is it, you respond by saying adding a phone number. Where is it? Say last, eh, be a What do you mean by that? Look, if you hope to be a millionaire, then you must begin to talk, greet like millionaires. Where is the gamble? And in this world of ever increasing poverty, I will swing with the mighty alone. Where's the gamble? If you people like, you can be in this song, be in the rain, play draft. But me, where's the gamble? Where's it? Chief Onwa is waiting at the reception. Oh, you shouldn't have kept him waiting. Let him in. I'm sorry, ma. Where is it? In our sofa to put on our welcome. Thank you very much. You see. You are the only one who makes me realize that beauty is big, big, big business. You're welcome, Chief. Thank you, my dear. So? Yes. He disappeared after the party. So I came to find out if you're all right. I'm all right. I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. So, if you're all right, how come we don't see you these days? <laughs> Chief. Yes. I'm having a small problem with the state police department. And I think I am going to fire the commissioner. Are you serious? What happened? Some group of idiots, I actually have forgotten what they call themselves, accused me of witchcraft. Yes. Initially they sent me a letter, I thought they were joking. But last week they caught the police department involved. You're not serious. Of course I am. Could you imagine me? The other kada, one of Oka. A witch. But come to think of it. What? Does the police commissioner, I mean, what has he got to do with this? A lot, a lot, Chief, because he was here last week. I mean, he came here with nothing less than a dozen police officers. I think he is back in that group. That's why they have the guts to call me a witch. Me. Mayo. Mayo. I am going to summon that boy. I'm going to let him know what his duties are. I'm going to actually let him know where he is <laughs> and what should be his duties because we, the indigents, have to define his duties for him. You understand? Thank you very much. <laughs> For this singular reason, 
some ancient ancestral crocodiles constitute themselves into a clique. They swallow the fishes in this lake with impunity as stupendous gods. In this same lake lives the electric fish. This is a very small fish that can be swallowed easily. But these ancient ancestral crocodiles avoid this fish. You know why? Wise one. I think they avoid the fishes because of electricity. <laughs> when the crocodile swallows the electric fish, he dies with the fish. So many things are not right. And the men of the sacred order of the love of many should stand and do something. Wise one, four days ago I met two guys who were abusing the sacred slogan of this order. But I moved it to stop them. He came back. Leave those two guys. They are determined to make it to the top. And they are coming with the kind of zeal never seen before in this order. But wise one, I've never met them in this temple. They are not our members. The most sacred order of the love of many has two categories of members. Those who are already here and those who are getting ready to be here. Those guys are almost ready to be here. And I'm guided to assert that they are not our problem. But wise one, what do you want the men of this order to do? When the crocodile swallows the little fish, he dies with the fish. That was the trend. But that is changing fast. Very soon. Very soon the crocodile will swallow the electric fish and nothing happens. Go and do something fast. Mwese. Mwese. Sick and tired of exchanging the slogan with you. Honestly, ever since I started doing it, I've not been having good sleep. I've been having satanic dreams. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Salas, this is not a funny matter. It's not. I mean, I, mean I, I feel very stupid exchanging a slogan that I know next to nothing about. I'm out of it. No, no. If you do only the things you know in your life, then you can never progress. Progress hides in the kingdom of the unknown. And it is this kingdom of the unknown I want to tap into. And immediately I do that, I'm there. Silas, Silas, you are out of your mind. No, you, are, you are not just there. I am with my mind. And I tell you, if you don't want to respond to the greeting of the millionaires again, I have no business with you. No, actually, I'm so puto puto now. I'm so Are you? Are you not going to respond? Look, 
I don't know you, and I'm sick and tired of that straight slogan. Don't you think it is too late for you to pull out? Once you are in, we can pull out again. Look, 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 look. I don't know you, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and talk trash with you. Please go, go. I met the strange man who used that slogan on me. Yeah. Yes, I, I refused to, to respond. Do you know what he told me? <laughs> he said no one who got in could come out. Silas, he said it was too late for me to pull out. Yes, what happened? What happened? <laughs> when I now turned to ask him further questions, I didn't see him again, he had disappeared. Hey! No, no. You're a fool. I have always known it that you're a fool. But I didn't know your own foolishness has gotten to this level. What, 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 what are you eh? talking about? Eh? You met Professor Top. Look, look. I tried to ask him another question, but before I knew it, he had disappeared. Hey! That man was looking for me. Eh? That man was looking for me. No, Silas. He, to, he did not make sure enemy touched me. Shut up, my friend! Silas, he did not call you. I said, shut up! That man was looking for me. Was it not me who taught you the slogan? If you got confused along the line, you should have referred the man to me. But he did call you. He, my friend, shut up! Get out, get out of here. Huh? Get out. You're asking me to get out of here? No, no, if you don't get out, no, my prayer, prayer. Get out. were sacred. Leave me alone. Please, leave me alone. The maximum appearance, appearance is fixed at three. three. I, have I have already appeared, appeared to you twice. The consequence, consequence will be as grave as death. Please come inside. Are you the ones to make me a millionaire? But you are a millionaire. As is it in the house, so are they. Uh, are you the ones that Nana described as uh, strange men? I've, I've seen, seen men with gods, gods before, before, but the gods in you have dwarfed all the men I've seen. seen. I, want I want to welcome you to the secret order of love of money. money. You are welcome, welcome, my boy. Thank you, Chairman. In fact, uh, I love money so much. When I was in the primary school, I made up my mind to think that anyone who does not have money is useless. The crocodile can swallow anything, but none of them have attempted to swallow the electric fish. Strong, strong, my boy. Uh, chairman. Chairman. 
三拉手铐发白过，发白过。Slogan was sacred. Wednesday, I for number. What did you do? Oh, you, you did not misbehave again. As a matter of fact, I just want to get this over with. Well, yesterday, two short men appeared to me and welcomed me into the sacred order of the love of money. As I talk to you now, I am a millionaire. I don't know what it means, but all I know is that I'm a millionaire. You. A millionaire. What, 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 what are you really the man gave me a check worth 15 million naira. As I talk to you now, the money is in my account. Hey, what? <laughs> you said it! 
that I ended your life, but I brought life to you. That I killed you. Because how long? Fifteen million. Fifteen million. You account now. Yes. Fifteen million. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know, you know, the man actually said. The man actually said I still had an opportunity to accept him. Uh -huh. He said that, yes, uh, maybe, maybe I should accept him, or, you know, um, but I didn't know he, he gave his money. Oh. Where is it? Now, dear, where is that the phone number? Oh. <laughs> 50 million. Do you have anything in the house? Or do we go you have to do it. 50 million. No, sir, I started cleaning up. Let's go and buy where is the other Let's go. Did you say 15 million? Young man, there is no town without owners. And a noble name. See, I am one of the 20 men and women who own this town. And you just cannot walk into our town and declare that one of us is a witch without confirming from us. But Chief, I am the police commissioner. And the security of these states lies under me. Yes, in theory. Your submission is valid only in papers. In actual reality, the security of the state is in the hands of the owners of that state. And I want you to get that into your head, Mr. Police Commissioner. So, Chief, what precisely do you want me to do now? You must withdraw with immediate effect the unfounded allegation against Mrs. Abo, the Adakada of Oka, and the Amumawan of Enugu. Chief. Your demand is too tough. The evidence against this woman is weighty. And the police authorities determined to arrest the situation. The evidence against her is weighty. May we know this evidence? Well, Chief, if you insist, I'm going to send you photocopies of petitions that were written against her. These petitions I'm talking about were filed in in form of affidavits. This woman in question uses maids for rituals. And these are evidences I cannot afford just to throw away. I mean, Chief, they are legal documents. Young man, I gave you four days to close that case or else you regret the day you decided to join the police force. Is that a threat, Chief? Young man, I shall not warn you again. I was the one who said Kike was a fool. But I now believe I was too wrong. Kike was the wise one. What is that supposed to mean? The money I collected from Chief Owa was 4.2 million naira. Yes. I injected that money into my business and ever since then, the business steadily sinking. I think DK saw the handwriting written on the wall and acted wisely. See, his business is not doing bad at all. James, do you mean that the poor state of our business it's because of the benefit we receive from Chief Owa. Oh, Martins! I have every reason to believe that Chief Owa stole our luck. That is why I invited you here to inform you. See, I am still making some investigations. But everything keeps pointing at the same one conclusion. Akachuko, to God who made me. If I happen to find out that Chief Owa Cast a spell on us.
kids. Do you know I have never thought of this in this direction? Oh, oh, Matis, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look, four million naira into a business. And instead of the business to start picking up, it's actually starting to die. Something is wrong somewhere. And I, James, the son of Obia Okoye, must decode what is happening. And he said I was talking nonsense. So I brought him here so that you could repeat the same thing you told me. <laughs> I am only a soothsayer after the orders of my father. I am not a court member and I will never be. The money you injected into your business is from the members of the sacred orders of the love of money. A very bad court. I can only say what your problems are. How do we solve our problems? See, our concern now is solution. solution. We know our problem already. Hi, Ibu Diallo, the son of Okeke, will not dabble into courtism. Go back to the man whom you collected benefit from and inquire from him how you could get yourself free from his bondage. Okay, Abaka. Yeah, why would you for do this kind of thing to us? We just, after all the favor we, we gave to him, this is mere wickedness. Why you see him? You ask him that. Waka. Waka. Nothing smoking about Waka. You remember when I told you to stay away from Chief Oma, you grumbled. But Daddy, I listened to you. I did not participate in the planning. I know you did not participate, but you grumbled. <laughs> Daddy, why are you bringing up this issue again? <laughs> you remember my friend, Ibu Diallo, the soothsayer? Yes, I know Ibu Diallo. I was in his house this morning. A man who participated in the planning of that party came to inquire from him the reason why his once flourishing business is gradually sinking. Are you serious? Listen, my son, I am your father and a retired police officer. When I see a man of questionable character I know, 
Chief Omwa is a man of questionable character. And you, who is a product of police family, you should please and please, please avoid him. Stay away from him. I've had you, Daddy. Your engineer was here to complain that the cement in the site is finished. Yes, um, I already ordered cement for them. I'm just coming from there. You don't need to bother yourselves over the antics of some non-entities like uh, Kende Balogun. The only good credential he has is that some ethnic never do was gathered and made him commissioner of police over and above those people who are qualified, more qualified than him. Huh? Let me tell you something. If you want, I will kill him between today and tomorrow. <laughs> Chief Uzoulu, why should you bother yourself? Don't worry, I will handle that idiot myself. Okay? As a matter of fact, I have spoken with the Inspector General of Police, and very soon, they'll be sending him to compulsory retirement. Why don't we kill him? That is the best way of silencing people like him. You know, there are people who have the propensity of causing trouble even when they are on retirement. Chief, I wouldn't want to kill him yet. I am more comfortable with sending him to early retirement. And if he creates problem from there, then I will tell him that I don't bear the iron lady of the city in vain. I will kill him. I one of The iron lady of this city. Oh, you want your car to be changed? Yes. What are you talking about? That car was bought earlier this year. That's a Mercedes. Yes, what? Chief, your friends are here. They want to see you. Can I let them in? With my friends. James and Martin. Oh, yes. Let them in. Yes, sir. What are you talking about? We just bought that car early this year. What is your problem? I want it to be changed. What and what could you say is our offense? 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 Yes. What are you talking oh. about? Oh, don't please smart with us, Chief. We're here to find out from you why you have decided to cage us. Mm -hmm. uh, gentlemen, sit down and let me know what you are up to. Chief Owen, we're not up to anything. The money you gave us as benefits for helping you plan your housewarming party is becoming a burden to us. And I want you to open up your mouth right now and tell us how to break free from your court. Did you say court? A very bad court. This man you call the husband is a court man. And he has been making use of our mouth and that was talked to the court. Shut up, idiots! Okay. And get out of here before I descend on you. How dare you walk into my house and accuse me of courtism? How dare you? James and Martin, please go. My husband is not into courtism. There must be a dangerous mix-up somewhere. There's no mix-up anywhere, madam. Before your husband gave us that satanic money he called benefit, we're not doing badly. I just came back from Europe. And I can't even go back again. That nonsense benefit money he gave us is destroying us! Yes! You have to restore back our locked roads that you hijacked. Or else! We we'll declare war against you. Now, listen, you say, fools. You fools gathered that money by yourselves at my party. Are you leaving?
you now or do I get the police? Because I did not give you my money there. You gathered all that money at my party. And I said, take. Are you living now or do I get the police? Mm. Okay. What is? Let's go. You're not saying anything because you're not capable of anything. Darling. Are you into courtism? What you yourself? Those boys alleged that you are into courtism and I want to know the truth, darling. Did you hijack their lock? You are the most stupid fool of all stupid fools I have ever met in my life. Now get out of my sight, nuisance. No. Idiot. Are you fine? Has it become a crime to hurt people? Is it a crime? Look at this poverty stricken idiots that are getting money. Is it a crime? Never, wise one. Madness and drunkenness are members of the same family. But whereas the former is stronger and somewhat permanent, the latter is weaker and temporal. As a one of Enugu, may we hear why your countenance is negative. But you know, my lord. Of course I know. But you have to tell the members. You must speak for yourself. <coughs> Distinguished members of the sacred order of the love of money, I agree. No. Go straight to the point. The police commissioner is working on my stomach. Ask him non agami for. What do you mean by non agagi jena anwafo? The good man now. He's in partnership with some group of idiots to tarnish my image. They are bringing allegation of witchcraft against me. And if nothing is done fast, the press will carry it. Members cannot say they are ignorant of the consequences of press involvement. Men of Spondulix should not fear men with delegated authority. You should consign yourselves with those who delegate authorities and not those who are carrying them out. I am lost, my lord. This is your case file. Archive. Go and see what happens to the small insect that torments your life. Oh, Rubotinaga. I don't like long stories. I'm not a man who speaks long grammar. The kind of house I want should be of international standard. Okay? And I want this kind of lush green environment that's a flower garden behind the house that can take about 50 people for any kind of party. Let me warn you. That house must not be connected to Nepal. I don't want to have anything to do with Nepal. It must be able to generate its own electricity. Mm, no problem. That was the same design we built for the uh, Speaker of the House of Assembly. Okay. We have the capacity to complete the house in just six months' time. Uh, how much? 
Do you have a line or are we to arrange the line too? No, I already have a land in the GRA. In that case, our land surveyor will go and survey the land before we can be able to give you make any quotations. Okay. Um, in that case, I will um, come back next week. The land is situated at uh, number nine Mbise Street. Around the, the junction? By Su Junction, yes. Uh, I'll come back by next week, then we will... Uh, sir, we need some money for mobilization. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, God. I have my check here. So, um, I think um, <clears throat> 200,000 will be okay for a start. Uh -huh. yes, uh, Charles, Hugo, Charles. It's as good as giving you cash. So just go as of next week. I'll come back and tell you. I missed out. Silas is a millionaire in just a few months, and here I am, wasting away. I just started the construction of a building in the GRA. Huh? Just yesterday, I bought into Double Edge Bank. Oh. Are you sure that somebody is not controlling me from the village? Go and check who is at your door. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Go and get your door, man. I'm not expecting anybody. Did you come with anybody?
Strange report. The station officer just called that the case file of Madame Ebo is missing. What? And every single document that contains her case. How? I don't know, sir. Where? How come? Fine. Bet, sir. Is it not better for us to drop this case? Since Jufonwa has interest in it, you know that man is evil. It's not only that he's financial evil, 
But it's... Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, you can go for now. Let's start. Hello? Is that citizen officer? What is this report I'm hearing? That all the files containing Madame Abel's case is lost or what? Please see me in my house right now. Uh, yeah, is that Shehu? Please, there is a real strange development. Please, I need to see you right now. I'm in my house. Come right now with immediate effect, okay? The problem with you is that every person talks nonsense. You are the only one that talks sense. Tukude, the problem with you is that you listen to rumors and gossips. I want you to know that rumor mongering is a crime in law. Call it anything you like. The rumor making rounds now is that you hijacked the lock of some young men and they are inciting other young men to burn down this house. <laughs> I'm surprised that my own brother is not serious. Of course, they are not serious. They are not serious. We are the government in power. Who gave them the right to plan arson? Who? Are you asking me? You should not ask me anything. You are bringing bad name to the Omas family. And this is not acceptable by me. <laughs> you said some fools alleged that I stole or hijacked some people's luck. And you are talking to me as if you already believe that crap. Huh? Oka Obluzo, behind any rumor, no matter how stupid, there must be some element of truth. Yes, you are very stupid to imagine such absurdity. Huh? You're very stupid to imagine that. How is it possible for another man to hijack the luck of some other people? Huh? You are an idiot to think that that is possible and you are my own brother. You. Well, as my stepbrother, I just have to tell you what is happening. Your conjectures, rumors, gossips and all that. You, my own brother, come here to tell me, get out of this house. Out! I will get out of your house. Don't come back here and come and tell me stupid rumors. I will go out. I'm not here. Thank you. Salah so careful. The same Salas or Carrefour that lived in this apartment with us for eight months mm. is now a multi-millionaire going about the whole place calling himself and you are not bothered. Bothered? Vincent, why should I be bothered? It's just the Lord's doing, my friend. God just decided to bless the poor man. And he's rich. So we all need to just wait for our own time. God's time is the best. Anthony, please, please pay me all this someone of God's time. I'm talking about my time. I, I hate hearing God's time. If, if, if I must have money, it must be my time. Is it when I'm 80 or when I'm old that I can't do anything with money? That he will give me money? Ego. Demma Nicolubia. I know. Ogalanyamaka Nicolubia. Yes, Vincent. The money must come my time. Wait. Don't tell me God's time. Take it easy. <laughs> Are you now anti God? When I say God's time, can't you believe in God anymore? Just because of your mere quest for, for, for money? 
this money you're talking about is the root of all evil. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry, Anthony, but I sincerely think you're talking trash. Why should I be for God when the man is visibly against me? For the eight months that Silas lived in this apartment with us, he has never gone to church for once. But every Sunday, you and I, we go to church to go and pray to God, even when it rains. But suddenly, your so-called God has decided to bless somebody. And he has not seen anybody to bless but Silas, who has never prayed even one line of prayer to him. If that is the way your God works, then I think the man himself, that man must be a joker. Hey, please. Hey, say no, Vincent, please don't bless him because of men money. We're only talking about men money here. Uh -uh. Anthony, why can't you just use your head? We are not talking of men money here. We are talking of money. Money. Money and money. We are talking of excess money. We are talking of too much money. Real money. Have you seen the car Silas is driving? He bought that car straight from the manufacturers. We are talking of real money here. Please, don't, don't you ever mention this money again. Don't say it again. Vincent, do you know something, Vincent? No. I can see that you are now being eaten up by the zeal to get rich. You are now sounding like those people who, who can use human beings to perform rituals just for money. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> listen, listen, there, there is no such thing like ritual. It's the language for me. You. I don't want to hear this again. No, listen to me. Ritual, the way they call it all over the place, is the language for the weak. Are you listening to me? I'm a fool of people. So people are boiling. Now so put put Now so put people are boiling like pot. People are boiling. Now so put put need there. You know, in a ritual. If 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 ritual is what will make me to boil. Now so put 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 need there. Then I am ritual. I am ritual the way you see me. Are you listening to me? Vin, ritual. Vin, I can see for myself that you've succumbed. You have succumbed to the to the lust for money, for riches. Hey! Anyway, if you ask me, I think you are just being stupid. Kerebazi? Stupid? Yes. That is my second name. Huh? I am stupid. Stupid, I don't, I don't yeah. understand that. No, you see that. If being stupid is what will make me put a put a put a put inside the pot, then I am stupid. Are you listening to me? Now, so put a put People are making millions and millions of naira every day. Now, so put a put a in all here. You are here talking spiritual, talking stupid. I am stupid. Okay? Well, enough of all this, your trash. Go. Cool. I, I am. I'm just tired of that. Let, let, me, let me out of this, your. Yeah, just just every money. see every day. This is what you are eating. All this. You are calling this thing food. People are making millions all over the place. Every day we eat bread and granola. Nah, 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 nah. What you want to eat? You are calling this thing food. No, no. This is the venue. Where? Look at it now. It's a venue. Silas! A tree trunk? Yes, now. Look, I'm not too fresh. Come you. back here. That's what the man told me. From? I'm leaving you. Come, let's go. Uh, that's what the man told me. Adefunamba. Where is it? Where is it? Adefunamba. 
yourselves and be ready to listen to the sacred voice of the sacred masquerade. of this sacred order live in their private houses. Shut up, sir. Shut up! Wise one. Wise one. We are almost rounding up our houses. I had planned to build one, but on a second top, I bought one and renovated. Thank you. Inside your house, you must set aside a sacred room for the sacred lords of this sacred order. It is called a private temple in ordinary language. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, that is not a problem. If the lords want, I can give them two rooms. Silas. German, yeah, wise one, sir. You have zeal. Yes, sir. I like your zeal, but the time to prove zeal has come. Sir, I can do anything. You have a younger sister called Ukechi. She is a very beautiful girl. The sacred lords of this sacred order want her brain. If all the lords want, Chairman, is her brain to give me excess money. I promise not just to bring her brain alone, I'll bring that of all her friends. Yes, All the operational instruments are contained in a note already waiting for you in your room. Thank you, sir. Nana. Why is one? You don't have a younger sister. Yes. As a result, the sacred lords are demanding for your mother. Huh? Silas. My mother? Why is what? Why, 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 why my mother? She's the only one I have. Silas. We're, we're ready, Chairman. No, Silas. 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 Mother. No, no. This is a private, secret temple. No. Don't spoil my business. Silas, my mother, for God's sake. They when need you? her bread. My mother. And when Silas. they ask, we have only one option to obey. Your mother will be mad. Huh? Not dead. The more she exhibits the madness, the more money you will have. My, my, my mother mad? Silas. Sir, this child, sir. You must cage your sister in a room. Yes, sir. She must not be allowed to set her eyes on men except you. 
flog her, the more money you will have. And mind you, the day she sets her eyes on men, that day will be your day of doom. In the sacred order of the love of money, I am the master of spondulix. Yes, it is equivalent to the post of a cardinal in the religious organization. It is my responsibility to guide new members. I have invited you here today as new members to guide you. A simple fact that you have become a member of this order means that you have no conscience. It means that you have no human sympathy. All you are concerned about is how to retain your money. Yes. And you only do that by going out to donate money to other people. Are you following what I am saying? Y yes, sir. No, I'm, I'm, it's not very clear to me. No, no, it's very clear now. Yes, sir. Do have questions? With wife, by hijacking the lock of other people. Yes. We hijack other people's lock to be able to get to the top and stay there. Now members of this organization are very vulnerable. Yes, you go out of places and donate your money to a group of people. You hijack their luck. And you need so much luck to be able to survive. It's all right, don't fret, don't fidget, don't be confused. This is the best order in the world. This is the best order in the world. A drink and be happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Where is that EF number? Her, the 
more money I will have. Me with firearms. Are you mad? Jifawa, Uncle Buluso, your time is up. Your time is up. You say you give me back my luck this night or your history. <laughs> I'm not joking. Is that why you're blocking my way with firearms? Now, listen, let me be sincere with you, boys. I have not, and I will never take your luck. Are you listening to me? What am I supposed to be doing with it? I'm a very lucky man. Hey, Chief. We know you're talking nonsense. All right, guys. Listen, let us talk. I'm a very benevolent chief. Chief Onwa is a very, very, very benevolent man. Yes, you may have lost your trading capital. I will give you another trading capital. You understand? After all, we are friends. Eh? Come to me tomorrow morning. You understand? And I'll give you my money. And I'm also put up to it. Chifawa, we don't want your money. Hey! Hey, what's wrong with you? Hey, the chief is speaking the point. James, are you out of your mind? Chifawa, hey, you're going anywhere. Clear the way for me. Tomorrow, come and take as much money as you desire. Wow! 
Me with firearms. Are you mad? Jifawa, Oka Buluzo, your time is up. Your time is up. You say you give me back my luck this night or your history. <laughs> I'm not joking. Is that why you're blocking my way with firearms? Now, listen, let me be sincere with you, boys. I have not, and I will never take your luck. Are you listening to me? What am I supposed to be doing with it? I'm a very lucky man. Hey, Chief. We know you're talking nonsense. All right, guys. Listen, let us talk. I'm a very benevolent chief. Chief Onwa is a very, very, very benevolent man. Yes, you may have lost your trading capital. I will give you another trading capital. You understand? After all, we are friends. Eh? Come to me tomorrow morning. You understand? And I'll give you my money. And I'm also put up to it. Chifawa, we don't want your money. Hey! Hey, what's the truth? Hey, the chief is making the point. James, are you out of your mind? Chifawa, you don't want anywhere. Clear the way for me. Tomorrow, come and take as much money as you desire. James. Yes, what is it? Ma, can you debate Logan, the police commissioner? He's here to see you. The commissioner? Yeah. What does he want from me? Ma, he appears very humble. And uh, worried too. I is he alone? Yes, ma'am. I came to apologize. I was misinformed. Please, madam, I need your help. Did you see any advertisement where they said I am looking for someone to help? Not really, madam. You see, my friend told me that you can reverse the problem I'm presently having with my inspector general. I'm so sorry for my outburst and over policing for the past couple of weeks. Please, madam, I've been misled. Stand up and sit down. Thank you, madam. So, what do you want me to do for you? Uh, madam, I'm being charged for incompetence. Some classified records got missing from the police archive, and the inspector general now sees me as incompetent. Um, please, madam, I know you can help me. Please help me. Go. 
I should go. Ah, madam, my career in the police department is at stake. I mean, it's under threat. I've labored for years to get to this position. Uh, madam, please, you've got to help me. Please, madam. I said call. I'll call your boss this night. Leave my office. Just try to be a good boy and don't dare me again. Leave. Thank you, madam. Yes, thank you. I called you and your wife to give you a stern warning. Stern means serious. I employed you here to keep the lawns, sweep the compound, open and close the gate for me. That's all. From today onwards, under no guise, must you enter my backyard. I will clean my backyard by myself. Huh? Even if this house is about to catch fire, do not enter my backyard. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I understood? Yes, yes sir. No problem, sir. Good. I repeat once more. When I'm in or out, you have no business to do in my backyard. If I find any of you in my backyard, you will regret the day you were born. No problem, sir. Good. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the only sister I have in this whole wide world. Mm? How are you? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, you're in school. I thought you people have a vacation. Ah, <laughs> my sister. One day you walk in a sozo poto poto coffee. I'm boiling. Excess money. <laughs> uh, forget that one was in the past, <laughs> like Bassi and Company. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I have a new house. You know, you must come to the new house. Get to the old house. Meet your friend Anthony. He will bring you to the new house. Huh? Yes, yes. Give back it, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, tomorrow will be okay. Tomorrow will be okay. Eh? Huh? No problem. No problem. Okay? Mm. Okay, tomorrow then. Okay, bye bye. I know. When you open gate, close gate, sweep, learn, do everything. Once my salary they go, if you like, make it keep in backyard. For me, I don't get to hala. I know, I don't care. Once you pay me my salary, I collect them. They must smoke my cigarette bag. You and this are cigarettes. What's in poor man go do? No be Nigeria. Oda, open gate, close gate. Once you pay Benjamin salary. Uh, if you finish this in a bag, that rice will remain. Make just one more bag. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm hungry. Where, where? Yeah. No I got safe. Even next month's salary, safe. I will go meet and make me make we talk. She can't think with this one. No go back here. Is it concern me? Concern back here? Oh, wow. 
You said make you no go there. I mean, my hand no there for this guy. No go there. I'm not going there. I beg, just no go there. I know they said I go. I don't go. I know fit too. Ah, no fit. Just no go there. <laughs> Why not pack these clothes and let us go and see Chief? I'm not going anywhere. But we have appointment with him. He promised to give us more money. Then go and get it. Martis is not interested. <laughs> you will never cease to amaze me. What is it? James, I was not born a fool. And I'll never live as one. It's only a dog that goes back to his vomit. Once of Martin, I'm a human being and I will never go back to my vomit. Okay, what is it? No, that's <laughs> not your Jigu. James. You never got the ego. Tashinga. I can't go. Tashinga. I can't go. 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 That bad man called James. He's here to see you, sir. Is he alone? Yes, sir. He's alone. Ask him to come. Yes, sir. Chief, good afternoon, sir. James. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Chief, I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. It was never my it was never my idea. It was Martin's that forced us to do what we did last night. I'm very sorry, sir. Please do forgive me. Alright. Okay. So how much will you need to start all over again? <laughs> Chief, you are not keeping any money from me. As a result, see, I cannot give you any bill. Just give me whatever you can afford, please, sir. Okay. You're a wise boy, James. You're wise. I'll give you five million. Hey! Hey! Five million for you to start all over again by hey. the time. Hey. Hey. Make sure that you do not fritter your money away. Hey. If I swear to God, I will use that money twice. Come inside, James. Hey. I'm not supposed to do this thing that I'm doing now. I'm not supposed to do this, but you know, because of you. Um, look, see this house? Yes, this house. Yeah. This house belongs to your brother Silas. Really? Yes! Silas owes this house. 
In fact, it's now being called Ininiemuite Obanyoko. Ininiemuite Obanyoko. That's what it's being called now. Obanyoko. Can you imagine that? Thank hey. you so much, okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye. I'll bring my friend from school to come and see the beauty of my brother's house. This is a one year house, my sister. Huh? You're my only sister, so what belongs to me belongs to you, Polly. Okay? Now, let me get something for you a welcome present. What kind of handkerchief is this? The best handkerchief in the world. Made especially for you in your own name. Sit down. Good. 
Christmas Day. Eh? I am very sorry. It just happens that I am. Your brother loves money so much, and I can't do anything for money. Eh? Okay? Eh? The sacred order of the love of money has decreed that your brain must be dead for me to have the kind of money I want. Yeah, I'm sorry, eh? Okwa. Okwa? You want Okwa? You were on Subono. In fact, it's your work in a popo. I will make sure you wear the best dress, eat the best food, listen to the best music, but you will be confined to this room, okay? Okwa. I will chat for you, just wait. Thank you, baby. Mazo Bika. Okay, okay. Uh, nah, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't buy. Obika, you don't mind. Mm? Mi wanku. Obika. I lived in the city for good 20 years before I retired to this village. I know now, we are together. <laughs> for these 20 years, I have nothing to show for it. Ah, you are alive now, it's something. But look at those young boys. Yeah? Especially that one called Nana. You know him? Nana, the millionaire now. Everybody knows him. Nana. Just only six years in the city. The banks cannot be able to count his money. Egobur agukata banya wa. Hey. Okay, okay. Money. Okay, come, come. I want to go back to you. I go back to Be contented with your life. Do what you have now. Okay. Madam, big up. Madam, madam, madam. No. Madam, madam. Madame, Gava, no, Biko, no, Gava, Gava, Biko, Biko, no, he done, Biko, hey, Madame, who's going, hey, 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 do you know who she is? No, look at her very well. Yeah, 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 Ubika, that is Mama Nana. Oh. That was why I said you are approaching your death. That woman has no reason to be mad at all. Madness does not run in their family at all. She became mad when her son, Nana, became an instant millionaire. That is very, very strange. Yes. That was why I said you must be satisfied with what you have. Quick money leads to quick death. Quick money, quick death. I pick up about us, money, money. What about money? See, I see now. As I'm in this village, I'm contented. I'm okay. What about all these rubbish millionaires? We pick up uncle. Drink your. Uncle, listen. I was the one that called Silas or Kafu on the phone. I called him in my personal capacity as Vincent Hilo. I never mentioned your name in that call. Excuse me. You are getting it all wrong, Vincent. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't have called him in the first instance. Why? Because something tells me that man is evil. Oh. But I've told you time and time again that I am sick and tired of being good. I want to test evil for once. I have told you that before. Vin, why are you in a hurry to get into this open grave? Huh? You are in a hurry to get to your doom. This is an open grave for you. Open grave? Every individual you see in this life, the bishop, the pope, and all these people you see walking on the street, they all have an open grave waiting for them somewhere. Salah Sokka forgave me his word. That he's coming here by 11 a.m. this morning, not one or two hours, and I know him. He's going to come. If you are not comfortable with that visit, na, Ipe. That's not me now, I should leave. Do you even know the, the, the hell I went through to get his telephone number in the first place? 
in in whatever that theory. Do you know the the hell I went through to get the telephone number? Are you aware that Silas is having serious misunderstanding with his family members? And, and do you think there is anything strange in somebody having serious misunderstanding with members of his family? Are you not aware that family members are into one business? All family members in common. They are into one business and that is the business of talking trash. How does it to me? Vincent, stop that now, please. Stop it, my friend. Uh -uh. Do you think family members will just gather together to be talking bullshit? Don't you think there must be some issues, important issues, for family members to gather and discuss? Okay, Nkechi is missing. Nobody has set their eyes on her for quite a long time now. Nobody knows where she is. And everybody is under the impression that Silas used her for rituals, for money making. Oh. Huh? Huh? Wait. Are you saying that Silas or Kavo used his sister and Kishi for money ritual? And he has all this money? Of course, that's what everybody believes. That means I have hope. What do you mean, have hope? Oh. Vincent Hilo. I can use all members of my family for ritual if that is going to give me money. Salas Okafo used only his sister. That man is a good man. What are you saying? He yeah. is a very lenient man. Whoa. I can use everybody. Everybody! I can use everybody I to make money. I can't believe this. Okay. Bang. I can't believe what I'm hearing from you. No, 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 I can't believe this is coming from no, you. No, 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 it's not touching me this way, evil hand. It's a shy bunny man. Hey! Bunny, bunny man. You, you can stay with us. All you people stay with us. Your money making. See if he's hurt. I don't know that. Okay, let's go. Hey, 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 why are you looking so good? That is not important. The important thing is to make me clean like you are looking clean. God has been very unfaithful to me. That's why I called him. Where is I told you? The fool is inside. But he has vowed never to, never to touch anything from you. I came here with the intention to give you four million now. But having seen your humility, I think it's unequal. I'll make it a round figure. And then you get in a round figure. <laughs> I will inject 10 million naira into your business. Hey, 10 million 
Seven naira. That is a round figure. Any wood. I do not go to the book. I do not go to the to the book. I do not go 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 to the book. I do not at Zion Hotel. Come and enjoy your life. Don't worry. Any day with Any day with it. Where come up? Where come Any day with it. Okay, the fellow. Abulu lam ga dendo kambiri ne luego. Abulu lam ga wangu kamu ne luego. Imani singwezi. Odi ya tonamba. Eji ya kufe mega ye luwa. Can you keep this your Bible aside? I want to. What is it now? I have arrived from where? Like all loaded guys around. Vincent Hilo, I have just begun to boil like pot of soup. Nah. I'm a man so put to put to put to put to put to put to me, Vincent. When the cricket is burning away in the fire, he tells his relations to be singing his praise. Mm -hmm. And to the cricket, he is producing oil. Why well, we know what is actually happening to the cricket? So please, my good friend Vin, be careful. Be careful the way you mingle with these men of questionable credentials. Anthony, you know, you are into this business of talking grammar all the time. Questionable or unquestionable credential, it, it means nothing to me. Listen, I understand only one language. And that language is money. That is the only language I understand. You know, had it been I have seen Satan. Do you know Satan? Had it been I have seen that man all these all these days that I was here with you, drinking gare and eating his yazu, I would have asked that man to give me money. You ask Satan for money. And the man would have given you me money. Satan for money. Man, that man would have given me money a long time ago. You are thinking now. I believe you are just, in fact, feces, shit, huh? Smells better than you. You know, it's easy. I can't even find. In fact, listen. Salas or Kafo. You know Salas or Kafo. They mean you with it. Or one Kunine or Penugo. Promise me 10 million naira. He just promised me. Then card, yeah. Look at his card. You see, I have one thing to tell you. Do you know what? The entire drinks served on your first birthday was just wasted. You know why? Why? Because all the elders who drank that they drank for a fool that was <laughs> 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 yes. Thank you for reminding me. I am a fool. Oh. Yes. Are you not aware? I am a fool. Listen, it is the fool, the foolish men around. They are the people that are making all the millions today. All the wise men. I go in empty pocket. <laughs> you don't know. And the, the drink you just mentioned has just reminded me about the coming party. Nana. The Nana that was living here with us. Mm. He's celebrating his birthday tomorrow. Salas just invited me and I'm going to be there. Are you coming with me? You just so much. Are you not coming with me? When I told you that there's no town without owners, you thought I was kidding, you thought I was joking, but I understand this. That they have opened your eyes to the truth. 
Chief. Actually, I thank the stars too. The Chief, as police commissioner, I've always been under the impression that I've arrived. But the events of the um, past few weeks have actually shown me that nobody knows it all. No, young man, they you're getting back. Yes, the queen of my city. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you see your friend. Please sit down, my uh, you see, he has come to say thank you, but he couldn't come straight to you. He was afraid, so he decided to come through me. <laughs> Your lady. Oh, uh, the Oka Obulu the one of Enugu. That is me. In a Good. Thank you, my dear. The queen of my city. What's up, Gordon? Good. So, Mr. Commissioner? Uh, madam. Is your problem over now? Um, of course, yes, madam. Well, madam, I must say a very big thanks to you. Um, see, the charges of incompetence leveled against me have been brought. In fact, as I'm talking with you right now, I've um, found my way back to the good book of the Inspector General. In that case, get me a drink. You get me a drink, you see. For just a few weeks, he was incompetent. Now he's a very competent commissioner. Oka Obuluzo. Now you are so competent because you have agreed with us. That is why you must remember that we are the true security officers of our town. Your business is like a messenger. We ask you to do something and you run around and do it for us. That matter of fact, you. Oka Obuluzo. Ina so putu putu kofe. So, madam, I don't know how to start next time. No, 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 it's okay. Sir, sir, I doubt if you still recognize me. I recognize you. I want to tell you, if the jam seed did not die, then it will surely germinate. Sir, I don't understand what you mean. Your friend who brought you here eight months ago is the biggest fool I've ever seen in my life. But sir, I, I did not come with him here. He's not with me here. I came alone. He has joined the, the tormentors, sir. I came alone. He used the right word. He has joined the tormentors. The tormentors will torment him till he's completely destroyed. As of me, sir, I refuse to join the tormentors. So I refuse to join them. So is there any hope for me? Yes, there is hope. There is hope. Your ancestors are aware that you acted in error. They are already waging war for you. But first, you must stand firm. Do not receive any further benefit from the tormentors. For sooner than expected, your ancestors will completely deliver you from their hands. Praise God. Thank you, my ancestors. Thank you. Let's I forget, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. and gentlemen in the house. As we all know, we are here for the celebration of Nana's birthday. And we are here inviting him to stand up to call this birthday cake. <laughs> Nana, will you please arise? And to support him in this very important task is his bosom friend, 
Chief Silas Okaf. The enemy of Wite. O boy Kolokunine of Enugu. We are going to cut this cake after the spelling of the name Nana. And I'm going to take that spelling in the native dialect. Nay. Nay. Ah. Nay. Nay. Ah. Shall we all resolve and sing with this song for the celebration? Why should you say such a thing? I hold nothing against you. Why have you rejected every gift that I have sent to you? If you hold nothing against me, why did you refuse to accept my gifts? Well, I am sorry that you are reading meanings into this matter. Our father brought us up to be contented with anything we have. Now you broke away from the rule. It's not a reason why I should break the rule also. My greatest worry is that you are also inflicting your children with the same wrong mentality. I called your senior son the other day and gave him a check of two million naira to support his business, but he flatly rejected it. Huh? It was so embarrassing, very embarrassing, you know? <clears throat> Did he tell you that I asked him to reject your check? The boy acted on his own. He never even mentioned this matter to me. But let me add this. Is it not about time you realize that fools are getting wise? There's something about your money that scares people away from you. Brother, think. Think. The fools are getting wiser. The wise men are getting to become geniuses on the face of the earth. Poverty is a sickness. I don't want to be poor. 
you certainly don't want to be poor. I don't know what you people are seeing in my web that is causing all these problems. Well, I always be contented with whatever I have, and I'm sure my son will do my footsteps. James, you don't have to be tell us right now. I wouldn't be. But. Dike. Mm. Okay, you took the right step at the right time. If you are far better than I myself. Dike, see. You have a lovely wife and lovely kids. Just look at me now. Eh, look at me. I got my boy. I have nothing at all apart from my only car. Okay. Just of recent, Chief Omar gave me five million naira. And I injected that money into my dying business. And ever since then, it's contrary to what everybody expected. The money killed my business completely. You see, James, I will only say that you guys were too greedy. I mean, you and Martins were too greedy. But the only thing you have to do now is uh, to stand boldly on your own, to solve your problems. You know, you and I know that if one is a man wallowing in pains of childlessness. Like everybody knows, I mean, something can never come out from nothing, you know. Tike, Tike, Tike to go. See, what do I do, Tike? What do I do? See, James, the most important thing you have to do is to believe in God. Because He's the author and finisher of our faith. That's what you have to do, and you work hard. Work hard. Stop believing in Chifonga or any other person. And you have to start now. Madam, she won't understand. Madam, I won't go. I won't go. I won't go, madam. Just believe in and everything will be okay. Okay. Okay, Dike. Because you are enjoying with your wife. I must surely do something. I will do something.
Sorry, I kept you waiting. Uh, no problem. <laughs> you came with two escorts. I hope I'm safe. Uh, you are safe, and all of us are safe. <laughs> Only that the parish council of St. Patrick's Catholic Church sent us to you with a message. Okay. Uh, here you meet Innocent Curry, and uh, this one is uh, Philip Ngafo. You know him one of uh, church wardens. Yes, I think I've seen him in church sometime. You're all welcome. Yeah, thank Can you. I get you a drink? <laughs> no, a drink can wait. Uh, all the youths of our town see you as a role model. Mm. The 20 commercial buses you distributed among them have completely reduced the transport problem in the community. But we are here for a different thing entirely. But I, in my personal capacity, want to thank you for the old gesture. <laughs> Don't bother yourself. You see, I love money. That's the truth about it. But I also love my fellow human beings. We know, we know. Any name we We are here for a different purpose. Okay. We know you have been spending heavily on us. Mm. But as it pleased God to make you the only millionaire among us, we love to always come to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, I, I want you to know one thing. Uh, when you're talking to me, you just get on with the action. This is all about money. Mm -hmm. So go straight to the point. You know, I'm not a man of many words, <laughs> so let's get straight to the point. It's all about money. Talk. Uh -huh. Five of our youths have qualified to be ordained as Catholic priests. They all pass as Dominican priests. The ordination comes up next month, and we have to buy them, each of them, a car. So to facilitate their missionary work, of course. And that is why we are here, to know if you would contribute anything towards this very important task. What kind of car do you want to give them? Uh, my son, we are thinking of buying them either 504 or 505, as case may be. Uh, <laughs> Uncle, if you have collected any money from anybody, go home and give it back to that person. I will personally buy the five cars. And I want to tell you here and now, if there be any youth in our town or community who qualifies to be ordained as a priest, I will give him or her a brand new car. Hey! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 you all sit down, let me... I know, I got enough. So, uh, let me get some... Some, <laughs> some change for you. <laughs> 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 Where is it? I didn't get the number. You're here. You promised to transfer their locks to me. As long as I give them money and gifts. I have served you diligently. I need more money. There is another problem in your village that the visiting elders out there did not tell you. The wind that came with the last rain blew off the roof of the Anglican church. Go and cover that roof. When you cover the roof, you cover their lock. Yes, wise one. Again, wise one, my money is running out. You know what to do. The more you flog her, the more money you will have. Anglican church was blown off by a very strong wind. You didn't tell me that. Um, you know, we are members of the Catholic Church. 
and we don't know very much about what happens in the Anglican community. But I understand. We are our brothers and sisters. We shouldn't be going about as if we have a problem. When the eye is affected, the nose is affected. We must all relate as brothers and sisters. Huh? That's for you. <laughs> Uncle, you're only special. Okay. What you do, Uncle, is um, when you get home, tell the Anglican priest to get across to me. I must render my assistance to them. Hmm. <laughs> So, can we have a drink now? Okay. Okay. We will, uh, we are, you want brandy? Um, I always take salt. Uh -huh. Okay, what about you? The same place. Am I the only brandy person? Silas Okafo gave me just a couple of months ago have suddenly developed wings and disappeared. I don't know what is happening in my business front. Everything is completely turning against me. I came to know if there is a way you can help. I am, I am beginning to have very stupid dreams in the last couple of months. I dream of, of horrible things, of stupid things, things I cannot imagine. I, I know something is wrong somewhere. That's why I'm here. Anthony, you must have to help me. Mm. Vincent, it's really a pity. It's a pity there's nothing I can do by myself. Not even now. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. But you, you, you don't understand. Excuse me. Listen, listen to me. It is unfortunate 
I surrounded myself with fools. You have evangelists, you have pastors, you have prophets. As you surrounded yourself with all these pious men of God. Those are the people you keep as your friends. I got myself surrounded with fools. Very fool, very stupid in the world. And that is the reason why everything is turning completely against me. Mm. Mm. Vincent, you know you and I have been friends for quite a long time. And you know I will do anything within my own possible reach to assist you. But what I am saying is that you have to come tomorrow so that we go to my pastor. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, I can do for you right now. Tomorrow. But when you come tomorrow, I will surely take you to my pastor. Time? Um, let's say between the hours of uh, 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Is that okay for you? Nada. I will be there. Can I walk among you? can Yes. Silence. I am not happy. A bunch of fools are going around the village. My village. A legend that I have struck my mother with madness. I don't like the way the news is spreading. I don't. Is that what you couldn't tell me on phone? You sounded so frantic. I thought, I thought something went wrong. No, look, nothing went wrong. Nothing fundamentally went wrong. But for God's sake, you know me, Silas. You know I am rich. I have money. Lots of it. But for God's sake, my image. I mean, a bunch of fools, idiots, going around trying to tarnish my image. No, no, no. I want you to advise me. Tell me, what do I do? I should advise you. That's right. Good. The first thing is that you have identified them as fools. All over the world, in America, in Canada, in Europe, in Asia, even in Isun Java. The best answer to a fool is silence. So the answer is simple. Maintain your cool and let the fools fool around. No, wait a minute, Silas. You don't seem to get what I'm saying. I mean, maintain my cool? Are you saying that a bunch of Idiots will go around trying to tarnish the image you built all over the years and you keep your cool? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Exactly. The most important thing is money. The fools will fool around and later they will come to ask you for money. Look, any name is too big to allow fools to fool him around. You are blessed, Pastor. Uh, this is a very old friend of mine, uh, Vincent. Vincent used to work for the Lord, but he abandoned the way of the Lord and embraced Satan. And of course, Satan has shown him why he is Satan. Look at him. His life is in shambles. Every sin committed by a man shall be forgiven by the Almighty except the sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit of God. That sin shall never be forgiven. Excuse me. Vincent, did you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit of God? There is a difference between being lured into serving Satan and willingly embracing Satan. My Bible tells me explicitly that one should give on to God the things that belong to God 
and unto Caesar the things that belong to Caesar. Pastor, exactly what my friend said. My life is in shambles. Everything is completely out of position. Just recently, my friend Silas Okafo, gave me 10 million naira for my business. I didn't do anything with this money, but like magic, the money disappeared. People now see me as plague. Nobody wants to do business with me, Pastor. I, I, I know it. Something is wrong with me. There is a cult, a secret cult. It is known as the sacred order of the love of money. And boy, do these people love money. They love money so much that they have devised diabolical means of hijacking other people's luck. Young man, that friend of yours who gave you money for your business. Salas Okafo. Oh yes, he's a deep member of that cult. And what he has done to you has made you equal to an empty hole. He has not only hijacked your luck. He has hijacked the luck of your children and your generations unborn. Salas Okafo hijacked my luck? Huh? <laughs> Is that the meaning of any name All I can tell you right now is that the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent shall take it by force. Uh, easier, Pastor. Violence. Take it by violence. No, come on. Go to Germany and You can see. Where are you going? Your friend? Yes, Pastor. He was destined to be very great. But it seems that uh, he ran faster than his shadow. What you are seeing, you are looking at a man who has no hope. No hope? He is totally on his own. Please stop now. Please wait. Please wait. Take it easy now. Why are you so much in a hurry? Your temper is too high. Listen, listen. I don't know what they're trying to tell me, okay? Salas your car for. I am going to kill that guy today. Lock Mukonya Jemen in the Mwite. Lock Mukoja Wokoso. He has no right, you know it. To take my lock and the lock of my children yet unborn. Agni Buddha guy. Please, I think we should be very discreet about this. Vin, please, I beg of you, let's just be more careful. Because the pastor told me that this man belongs to a secret cult. Who cares? That guy has no right to ruin my life. Can you follow me to his house? I want to go and kill that guy. Vin, just keep me out of this one. I'll follow you to his house? Yes! For me to be there, I must first fast and pray. Fast and pray. I'm going alone. You're on your own then? We die once. Only once. But be careful, be warned, Vin. Be careful. I'm warning you. Jili Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, afternoon. Please, do you live here? Of course, I do live here. 
I'm looking for one Mr. Anthony Sopolichuku. Do you know the man? Anthony Sopolichuku? Of course I'm the one. How may I help you? Can I see your ID card? Oh, sure. Here's my ID card. I have an international letter for you. International letter? Yep. It's true, it's for me. Please, do you sign here for me. Wait, wait. The space provided here. Thank you. Very much. Nice meeting okay. you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Theory of silence. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. I initially accepted your advice to ignore those fools. But for crying out loud, the fools have refused to stop being fools. The last time I came to your house, barely 20 minutes after I left, I got a call from one stupid uncle of mine who said that rumors were everywhere and it was I. I, that inflicted my own mother with madness. Benja, find out a fool who wants to knock down my gate. Who be that? Why did you hijack my lock? I only asked for your financial assistance. Why did you hijack my lock? What is he talking about? You think you are smart? You gave me 10 million naira and you took my lock away. Now, tell me the exact reason why you took my lock away. Or I am going to cause a paid advertisement to be published in all the national dailies to warn the people what you do. Two of you, you are courtists. I know it. Vincent, where did you get that trash from? Listen, there are pastors in this land. Anthony and myself, we have gone to see a pastor. And he has told us exactly what two of you do. Now, you must have to restore my lock that you took away or I am going to destroy two of you. And even your court. I mean it. I'm very serious. Vin, get out. I should do what? I said get out. Mua, get out. Get out, now. Onya de Klikli, should get out? Oh, is it because I came to your house? Okay. Nge I will meet on the road. Crocodile is almost ready to swallow the electric fish. If you want to get to the root of any violent mother, then you must visit the blacksmith. You're getting us more confused. What do you want us to do? Vincent and Anthony are threats to the secret order. They are beginning to relate with power, beyond powers. They must be stopped. Power beyond power. Kill both of them. Use the mirror of death and use it now. I don't understand what he means by power beyond power. That was exactly what I wanted to ask him, but he disappeared. He disappeared. Let's go to the temple. Let's go.
the letter of appointment as African solar tent. We apologize for the delayed response. We hereby acknowledge receipt of your application seeking to be our sole agent in Africa. Be informed that we have analyzed the application and by the notice, be informed that your application is duly granted. Please go to our embassy in Lagos and say, I my document. I can't believe it. I know God is always faithful to those who believe. He's a nice guy. Cool. Look, look, I can kill 20 Vincents, not one Tony. Look, look, but, but, but the, 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 the actor Mili has given an order. He was plot about this. Look, Silas, just spoil things for us, okay? I understand that Tony is a good guy. There's no doubt about it. But they have become threats to the sacred order of the love of money. And when the sacred order has given you a command, who to obey? Sending death to both of you. You have become threats to the sacred order of the love of money. And nothing but death shall be your reward. Death. Beginning to ask questions. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. What's that? They are both dead. That was. A confirmation. Where is it? A day for number. Where is it? A day for number. What is it? Come on, give number and be for me. I have to go. I have to Vin, no, please! Vin! 
No! Vin! Vin! Vin, please! Help Vin! Any man who is not in Christ is living at the mercy of Satan. Satan can take him or her at any given time. In the case of your friend, oh, he had died a long time before he got to you. They killed him. Kill him? Who killed him? The powers of the sacred order of the love of money. They killed your friend. And if not for the mark of Christ upon your life, they would have killed you too. Kill me? You have to fight. The fight of your life. Pastor, then tell me, Pastor, what must I do? You must first of all embark on a fast. For too long we have been defensive. Now we must take the battle to the very gates of hell, Amen. into the kingdom Amen. of darkness. Amen, Pastor. But it starts with your fast. I promised the Catholic community in my town of donating five cars to five priests that are about to be ordained. I also promised the Anglican communion to repair the roof of their church that was blown off by the wind. You know, that's very beautiful. Do you want me to give you my contribution? No, no, no. I'm equal to all the promises I made. You see, I want to go to the village tomorrow. I was uh, thinking if you want to come along with me. Oh, why not? I mean, I'll come with you if you want me to. Yes, actually, my plan is to appropriate the locks of all those priests and that of the Anglican community. With that, I will be on top. Where is it? Ade Yefunamba. Where is it? Ade Yefunamba. You know your problem? You just want to continue to acquire wealth. So much wealth. But that's it? That's it. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. Whenever you're ready, let me know. I will, I will, I will. Run along, run along, run along. Uh, Benja, open the gate. How's your wife? Nice. Uh, sir, that woman was shouting throughout yesterday. She was shouting, screaming and shouting at the backyard. She was shouting, you know. Which woman? The one at the uh, backyard room. She was shouting and screaming. Did I, or did I not warn you not to go near my backyard? Sir, I didn't go there. I did not go there. I just heard her shouting on top of her voice all through yesterday. Now listen, and I, this is the last warning I'll give you. If I ever hear or see you near my backyard, I will skin you alive. Yes, sir. Get out. Yes, sir.
Ibu Diallo de Smusaya assured me that my ancestors will wait and win the war. No. No. I must do something on my own. I acted in error. And ever since I realized my mistakes, I have not taken anything from that man again. I must do something on my own. I have to do something. Concerned about that woman that Oga is keeping inside her room. Concerned as in how? Concerned as in doing something. How could you keep silent just like that? You should do something now. How do you mean? It does not concern me. Meanwhile, Oga has asked us not to, never to go to the backyard. And I have no business. Nothing concerns me there. What's my own with, the, with that woman? But she's a woman be like you. And she needs help. So? I have no business with it. And please, just change this topic. I don't want that, this kind of nonsense. Huh? Don't go there, I'll have nothing to do with it. Ha! Do this and and cook this thing for me. Uh, uh, who, who is that? Who be that, Seth? Who be you? Seth, I mean. I'm Max and Max. Benjamin. See you later. Oh boy, you see how you are shining. You're welcome. Hi! See level. Ah! Madam, the madam. Okay, Mecca. Hmm? Madam. Yeah, how welcome. are you? Good evening. Good evening. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I bet I bet carry some goods there. Eh? Me cook for us. Ah, see level. Mm -hmm. I thank God for everything. How are you doing? 
See how you are managing very, very well. You and your wife shining. What you told you, Jesu? I must make it clear to you that we are very delighted that people like you are beginning to show interest in the activities that go on in the church. We are very grateful. I'm not a man of too many words. Kaijen in the look, I'm going to see you from what I Like I promised uh, when they visited me. One, two, three, four, five. I probably made a promise to them that any member of this community or town who qualifies as a Reverend Father or Sister gets a car gift from me. But it was the new Jesus. If you people are afraid of Nana, I am not. He used his mother for ritual. And as a result, the mother is now mentally ill because of his quest for unprecedented wealth. <laughs> <laughs> what does she want? She's asking for drink. <laughs> Give her a drink. What is happening to me? She has regained consciousness. So dirty. Hey, look at my legs. My zombie, what is happening to me? Tell me. We need a close watch. Oh. Hey, look. Oh. She must what have received the healing. Of course. Of course. <laughs> hey. Oh, thanks be to God. Eh? Hallelujah.
Can you hear that? Who is there? You should forget what? Danger. Did you hear that? Hear what? That woman is crying again. Come, leave yourself. What? What? Benjamin, that fellow in there needs your hand. What's my thing? She needs her sister's place. Moga ordered me not never to hear that place. And me, I'm sticking to it. I'm not going there. Why are you so stupid? Eh? Hey, Maka. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Maka. Yeah, Maka. Hey, Maka. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Maka. I have a similar feeling. I just felt... Where is it? We must go back to the city. Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. Let's leave here immediately. We must leave immediately. Okay, you're going. I'll be praying for you. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Inside your house, you must set aside a sacred room for the sacred lords of the sacred order. It is called a private temple in ordinary language. You must cage your sister in a room. She must not be allowed to set her eyes on men except you. The more you flog her, the more money, money you will have. And mind, mind you, the day she sets her eyes on men, that day will be your day of doom.
removed everything. The temple is burnt. My sister is gone. I'm finished. And I warned you. Silas, I told you not to give that donation to the church, but you wouldn't listen to me. Now shut up and listen to me. I told you it was Ajahn Mili who told me to go and rebuild the Anglican church. You hear talking about what you don't know. Silas, I warned you. I didn't like the idea. I knew it was going to be dangerous. Didn't you enjoy the money? So how with the money? What bloody money are you talking about? When a man cannot get married and raise children? I struck my own mother mad because of my to hell with the money. I don't want to know anything about it. I don't want to be part of it. Sir? My sister was not to see other men. I was one. Now she's gone. Ask me where she is. I wouldn't answer. <laughs> Good day, Pastor. Pastor, please, do you remember Silas Okafo? Silas, that person that uh, my late friend Vincent refers to as Enemyamuite. Uh, mm -hmm. This is his younger sister. Anyway, she came around and she. Young lady, are you aware that you have only just returned from the land of the living dead? Actually, Pastor, I don't know. The only thing I know is that I was sick before. But now, I think I'm okay. You were not sick. You were not sick. Your own blood brother sacrificed you to the lords of his cult. Oh, but thank God for the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Mm, the blood of Jesus. Every day I see myself in the midst of amputated legions, all vomiting money from their mouths. Hmm. I was seeing singers singing out their hearts. But for once, I never heard the songs. And for whatever reason, I felt someone invisible flogging me from time to time. Did you hear that? Pastor. Did you hear that? Pastor. Now, can you begin to appreciate what we are coming up against? Oh, the devil is wicked. Yes, please, Look at a lovely girl like this. To pass you through such torment. Oh, please just join me in prayers. We just thank God for what he has done. Bring your hand, bring your hand, bring your hand, bring your hand. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the liberation of the soul. We say as you have liberated her. Security of this house is your duty. Yes, sir. I pay you enough money to sustain you and your wife. Now tell me in plain language what happened. Sir, nothing happened, sir. Security is intact, sir. Benjamin. Sir. Don't play monkey games with me. Because I'm a tiger. There's a girl in the backyard room. That girl is missing and you tell me security is intact? Sir, I know nothing about it, sir. I've never gone there since the last time you ordered me never to go there, sir. I did not go there, neither did my wife go there. I didn't go there, sir.
even if you blame me from now till tomorrow, it will not change anything. Let's go back to Ajamili and tell him what we have. That remains valid as long as the conditions are met. Conditions? How do you mean? Where's Adif number? So long as Mwesa carries himself with dignity, respect and decorum, Mwesa must obey the laws applicable in that other land. If he fails to do that, you'll be so shocked that Mwesa gave some, some, some. What do we do? I told you that the crocodile was about to swallow the little fish. I charge you to do something. I ordered you to kill both Vincent and Antony because they were beginning to associate with power are both powers. You killed one and spared the other. But, but where is one? Where... According to instruction, we killed both of them. We did. You disobeyed. You killed Vincent but spared Antony. Your end has come. This cult is like out of octopus. It has many legs. We killed those guys. I hate this cult. I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! And I hate that slogan too. I hate it! Why are you here? Wise one, you know. I am here to know how to permanently free myself from the order. I am tired of everything. <laughs> how dare you say you are tired of everything? Wise one, I came to you because you promised to give me money. Now I want to free myself. I seek freedom from this order and I want you to tell me what to do to get this freedom. Your soul has been transferred to the triangle of the deep. There is no going back. Your only option to remain a member or you'll be left to be on your own. The master of Spondulix told you you have no conscience. That means your conscience has been deposited with the triangle of the deep, with the spirits of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Lucifer and Belzebub, Marina Oklangogota. So my son is the owner of this big house and he refused to take care of me when I was sick. Shut up! You were not sick, but you were mad. You must learn how to say things the way they are. Shh. Why should you say our wife was mad? You must learn how to talk. You are here crying for him. You should be happy instead. Mazur, well you see what I'm saying. I have to go. I'm ashamed of myself. 
I know the news will spread all over that I used my mother for money-making ritual. I cannot face the public. It is too much for me. Moral blindness. Darkness of ignorance. Have led the world to centuries of immeasurable suffering and catastrophic experiences. He was a fool. He betrayed the order. What are you doing here? We're in trouble. I am trouble. Why are you looking for me? Your son betrayed the most sacred order of the love of many. Members have no right to take their lives. Chateau, Chateau, Mr. Zua. asked me to kill those fools with the mirror of death. I obeyed. I did my best. It was not my fault that Anthony refused to die. Your friend. Your friend drank poison and died. He thinks that is the end. No. He betrayed the order. And in awesome union with Lucifer and Beelzebub. I am going to haunt him even beyond the corruption of the flesh. I need a new beginning. And towards this, I am ready to sacrifice all members of my family to ensure my wealth remains. Where is your sister, Nkechi? I don't know. She took off. You must find her. And you must kill her. She has the mark of this order on her forehead. She must not be allowed to mingle with men. Yes, wise one. I'll do exactly as you asked. I'll find her and kill her. But why everyone? I need my money. I invested into Double Edge Bank and now the bank is gone. You can have a new temple. But that can only be given if you fulfill all the conditions. Wise one, Silas Okafo can fulfill any condition. You must never cut your hair again. You must never eat food that contains red oil. You must never shake the hand of a man who knows you by name. And you will go blind all the days of your life. Can anyone sign such an agreement? A new temple is just for asking if you fulfill those conditions. Wise one, that's a very tough one. Look on me with pity. I have already sacrificed my manhood. Of what use will life be? I had my eyes to enjoy my wealth. Go and find your sister and kill her first. Nkechi. Nkechi, I think you have to go home. Okay. For the fact that you and I are staying in this house, People will always imagine things. It is only you and I who know that we're not doing anything like committing sin. Please, in case you have to leave. 
I cannot go back to that house, and you know it. Anthony, you must understand. Gigi, Gigi, I understand. It's just that, despite the fact that we're not committing anything against God, it is morally wrong for brothers and sisters, especially Christian brothers and sisters, to be staying in the same house together. We're not married. You know? Despite the fact that we're not committing anything against God, but it's still wrong morally. And if the pastor finds out that you're still in my house in Kichi, he's going to be very mad at me. Please, I think you have to leave. Well, if you insist I should leave, I'll find somewhere else to go. But I must assure you, I won't go back to Silas again. <sighs> Obolo nam ga den do kambiri ne lego Obolo nam ga wan mu ga mo ne lego Imani singweze odi ya to nam ga eji ya fu fe me ga ye nuwa Obolo nam ga den do kambiri ne lego to be living. You are supposed to be dead. You are supposed to have died with Vincent. Why are you living? Of the sacred order on her forehead. You lie. You lie, you devil. She shall not die, for she has the mark of the Most High God upon her. And even as that she is enraging, know this all power belongs to Jehovah. Our oh, how dare you! Fire! Fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! Fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! Fire! Holy Ghost! 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 Fire!
steel wheel from the very tip of the earth. We come against the bad old We come against the Just begin to thank God for your victory. Just leave him alone and thank the Lord. Oh, just lift up your hand and thank the Lord. Oh, blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come so bad. 